Woo, what's up, you guys? Uh, I'm back on the Hydro SMP. I don't remember what episode this is, but it's not going to be a normal episode. I am pretty much just going to show you guys what we have been up to since the last time I pretty much made a video on this world. We did a lot of progress on our cities and builds and stuff i think the last time you guys were with me i think we were starting the library i'm way past the library now magical is way past everything too miguel he pretty much just finished his house built a wall around it and we haven't seen him since cody he's been Helping me flatten out my city. We've been making a lot of progress on it. But I'm going to show you guys what everybody has been up to. So first, I'm going to show you Magical stuff. Uh, I know a lot of you guys really like seeing what he's been up to. So I'm going to show him his, you guys his stuff first. And go from there. Uh, you guys can probably tell that he did a he planted way more sugar cane. Storage room is still the same. Uh, he built these builds. This one houses all of his villagers and stuff. This one is all of his farms. Uh, let's go check out about the farms. So this is his farms. This is an auto sugarcane farm. He told me it wasn't producing that much. And I don't blame him. These farms haven't been really producing a lot. The only farm of his that has been producing a lot is his auto pumpkin farm and melon farm. He's still not done with this build. I think he still had a couple more builds to do, but that's this one. Uh, let me show you his apartment slash house. I think, yeah, this is his village breeder. He built his village breeder into, into his build. It looks pretty cool on how he did it. Over here is his... I'm not touching that, but over here, this is the villagers go up here, they come up here, he does his little magic works, he goes from there, then they fall down here, and then he does whatever he needs to do with them. I think this is his bedroom. This is, I think, the mending guy. Yeah, this is his mending guy. Got a little storage room back here. Over here, I think he has three villagers. Dang. I don't... Yep. He has his toolsmith here. I think this guy is a toolsmith too. And then this guy is a toolsmith too. So he got hit all of his villagers that we buy stuff from too. Yeah, all the melons come over here. This is his little melon farm. Still got the tower of his crops. He's been using this auto. It's not an auto farm. It helps him grow his wood. His rope. Whatever that blue and red wood is called. Sheep farm. I think he's going to be making an auto sheep farm soon. 
He has a iron farm that generates way too much iron. Let's just say that he is probably the richest one on the server when it comes to iron. Like, he is just filled with iron. And then his house. Uh, I'll go from over here. He built this bridge recently. He built this nether portal, I think, a while back when I was building my uh, library. He built this, but then he recently built his house and then this bridge. That leads to his house. I know he did some work that I haven't seen yet, so you guys are going to see it too. Yeah, this is his house. He has all... He still has some stuff to do, but... He's been doing a really good job in it. I know recently he just finished his library, I think. This is his library. Oh, he, that's what he's doing with all the books. He, so I have, I've had my villagers that sell stuff. And he's been, actually is buying and filling up his library. That's pretty cool. Vanishing. He hasn't bought any vanishing books yet. I have to fill those up. Yeah, this is his farm. Not farm, library. Pretty cool. And now my place. The last time you saw I was building this library. I finished it and moved all my villagers over, pretty much. This is where I sell all my books. All my armor books are here. My villagers are walking around. My little fish tank. Oxalatos. Yeah, this is where, pretty much where I... This is my main store is my librarians and selling the books this is my main store i also have another store that i built too i now sell a lot of bee bee related stuff i have a bee farm uh, my storage room a nice little storage room thinking about making it a second story continuing it up front but for now it's just one story because I needed somewhere to store these guys. So I have these guys temporarily up here for now. Had some creeper problems and stuff. I lost all my guys, but I have those guys up here temporarily. Another new thing is this barn house. Mine this wall. And then my sunflower patch with that involves all my bee related stuff, candles, bee comb, honeycomb, everything's here. I have this main bee farm here and then I have a auto honeycomb collector down below. Damn, I just realized how much this collected. I haven't been on the server in like a day or two. I took a break to play the beta for Back for Blood. And then I was playing some Gears of War on my Xbox. But, yep. 
still haven't done anything with this house. This house has became a meme on this goddamn server with Cody. Cody always says, when are you going to finish it? <laughs> I'm never going to finish this house. I might try finishing it just so it's a house. But I like, I just stopped building it. I don't know why. Yeah, this... I'm working on a new project now. Cody just flat in land, so I've been using the land. And I have it in my auto furnace. And my auto furnace, my additional auto furnace. All powered by rails and stuff. I don't know why I had that yeah, for them. Let's see. Over here is Miguel's house. He pretty much moved his cows into that house. And did a little, did a lot of stuff to his house. He hasn't been on the server in a couple weeks. I don't know if he's ever coming back. But he has done a lot of work since the library build and that server reset he rebuilt his whole house if you guys do want to see what his house looked like before i have a funny moments video where he pretty much did it mtv style cribs kind of thing and just put his little twist on it i'm gonna link that down below in the description if you guys want to see what his house looked like before but this is his new house, so it he did a lot of work in it until he just disappeared, like I said. So hopefully he comes back soon. He pretty much one of the main builders on the server, so hopefully he does come back. But his little mines area. Yeah, that's his house. That's pretty much everything you guys have missed. Oh, wait. There's a couple more builds. I forgot. Can't end it on this point yet. I got a couple more builds. So, when the server reset, we needed a another farm for our villagers because we lost a lot of progress. So I went on chunk base and I found a spider spawner that was close to us and I built a spider spawner. But yeah, I got a spider spawner that we use for pretty much everything now. We used to use it for everything for the strings, but now we don't need it for the string because Recently, Major Cole just built an OP bartering farm that is just so fun to watch these guys just straight shoot everything out. I think I would have gold so I could show you. Yeah, this is his bartering farm that he built. I helped him get all the chests because it was, he needed a lot. A chest. Uh, I'm just gonna do 35 gold. Or 24, because it's the same thing. Let's shoot that 24 gold. Uh, because we are here, let me turn this down. It's gonna get pretty annoying for you guys, so. So pretty much what you do before you throw, before you switch that switch, you put all the gold in here. Uh, let me turn it up just a tiny bit. Let me just turn off hostile mobs. Or, where is it there? Let's just put it to 60, but you let, you let that all cycle through and then you turn this on. It shoots up 24 gold, I think, right? 
Yeah, it shoots out all 24 of gold. These guys throw it. And woo! And it all gets organized into there. You have to turn it off before you leave, but yeah. It all goes, collects in here. The reason why we don't need string from that farm is because this produces a um, bunch. Books, potions, and then you guys, I think you guys already seen that. That's the farm over here. He has a full on flower farm that produces all the pretty much every single dye that he ha we can get. He is the dye man. Major Cole pretty much does everything he does with the dye. And I pretty much buy it from him. So, that's just his farm. Well, that's everything you guys have missed in the last... I think it's been a month since I last uploaded an episode on the Hydra SMP. I am going to try doing more videos on this server. It's just been tough trying to make other videos. I'm still trying to get Cody on to make some zombie videos. Cody's been working weird schedules, so zombie videos are coming soon. Just look out for those. I've been I just uploaded yesterday. This video is coming up on the same day I'm recording it now. This this I recorded a live stream with Magical yeah last night at on Back for Blood Beta. We had really a lot of fun on it. That a couple times, but we had a good time. Uh, expect more videos of those when the game actually comes out. Uh, I'm a big Gears of War fan, so I might be playing Gears of War Remastered. It's pretty much Gears of War Ultimate Edition. They pretty much just remastered the original game with better graphics. I'm going to be playing that on PC, so... You guys are going to see me struggle with PC controls. You guys kind of saw it yesterday when, if you guys watched the Back for Blood live stream. But we are going to be doing that a lot more. So, and Apex just released a new season. So you're going to see me and Octavio be playing that a lot. Dylan, I, if Dylan does come back, you'll see us playing that a lot more. Uh, Dylan and me are planning to play a couple two-player games together, so we have that, but that's pretty much it for this little short episode or little update on the world, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next Minecraft or next video. Peace out, and see you guys later. Do 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 do